coming at you on the show. It's the Indianapolis Indians taking on the Columbus Clippers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And towing the slab in this one, Tanner Tully. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. And here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Madris leads off first with one away. Out to center, Jaquez drifts towards it. He's got it. Two down. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Digging in, Emmanuel Paquez, the switch hitter batting right. Now move to first, and he's back in safely. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. Doing out. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Base hit. The throw to third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Way to drive that one. And that hit has some extra significance for him. His first knock at AAA. I'm sure he's excited to check that off his to-do list. Yeah, it may not mean as much as his first hit in the majors will, but it's still a nice accomplishment. And it's a side to him that he could hold his own at this level. There are a lot of big league players around him now it's about establishing some consistency and making that push for the show. There, huh? David Fry, the next to hit. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And the 2 Flares it into the outfield. Puts it away for the out. Next is the designated hitter, Gabriel Arias. Two outs, two in scoring position. Got him swinging. That's the third out. Next to hit, number 46. Now batting, number 46. First Kick, Sandios. That one ripped way back there. And it hits the base of the wall. And that's a two out double. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. One for one with a single so far. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. 
Clement gets his lead at first with nobody out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Hey, let's go, kid. Here we go. The 0 2. Had a good eye there. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Hey, find some green, baby. Find some green. Get your pitch, drive it. The one two. That's down and in. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And he deals. Got him. One away. Now it's the second baseman, Diego Castillo. Yeah, Boogie, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. This one in the air center field. Makes the grab, and that will end the inning. On now to the bottom of the fourth, all tied 1-1. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez, one for two. In the dirt, but kept close, but no advance from the runners. Corners are occupied with two down. Here we go, here we go. Next pitch is outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some yeah, runs. Up there, huh? Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Clips the outside corner. Now two balls and a strike. And that one in the air center field makes the catch and the inning is over. We played four all tied one one. Go ahead run on base and here's the first baseman number 46. Number 46. The pitch out there to center. Paquez has this one sized up. Two away down. Throw over to first. Now back. Left field. Travis Swagger. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. And a pitch. Bounced out to short. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Fry. He's already homer here in this one. Righty delivers. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's the third, one at second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Now batting, the designated hitter, Gabriel. Number 38 getting ready to hit. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. 
Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. In the air, out towards left center. Paquez puts the squeeze on that one, and that ends the inning. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Well, a ton of hits in this one, but the sequencing just not on point to be able to put runs up on the board. Real close game. Saw a lot of offense, but it just didn't translate. So many runners left in scoring position, so many missed opportunities, and it came down to just a couple of key at-bats. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding...